Alright, and the number one right here? Mm -hmm. Anything sharp? Mm -mm. Eggnog! Eggnog! Mm -hmm. like, well, I don't even know what's in eggnog. I'm not even sure. You know what? Eggnog may have a funky aftertaste. You know, most people enjoy drinking it, but I've never actually walked up to someone and said, smell my breath after I've drinking some eggnog. But once again, it may harp on that whole dairy sugar type situation that we have going on here. Um, that's interesting. Isn't it? So there's yeah, our one. one. Eggnog. Eggnog. Worst holiday uh, foods that they cause bad breath. I'm visiting with Dr. Reagan. I don't that's interesting. Example. Now, is that a version? If you have bad breath, maybe it's just for one, you know, one time a year or so. So uh, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, right? Well, how are we doing it with little portable uh, toothbrushes and things? Are we, uh, we get, I know we got spray. You know, at my breath. Christmas table, we, I don't see anybody with the brush ups or taking out a toothbrush or saying, excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom and, you know, brush and floss. I'm not sure if that's necessarily happening. I can pretty much throw out a blanket statement saying that that's not happening in most households, okay. but, um, you know, I'm just as concerned about oral hygiene as the next guy, and when it comes down to it, I think when it comes to a holiday, kind of an older pilot. Okay, and I guess what I'm asking is, this, is, it, is this generation coming up now, are they are they brushing better in your mind than we did when we were kids? Well, I think education within the school facilities is um, improved, and there is a greater emphasis on taking care of your teeth when you're younger and really implementing um, proper oral hygiene techniques and really addressing or placing significance on the importance of oral hygiene. So I, I think they're doing a better job in the schools right now, in the elementary schools and then working their way up. I think it's more of a priority. In fact, um, you need to have clearance, I believe, every year from your dentist to make sure that you're not you know, you don't have any uh, cavities and that you're taking care of yourself. So I think that's actually been integrated into clearance as you need to do to here within the elementary system. Well, that makes a lot of sense. All right. Right. Talking with Dr. Ricanato from Bergview Dental. Again, always taking new patients over there. You can call them at 895-6100. Uh, stop by there at 115 West Peace Road, which is where Peace and Blank and Route 23 all come together. Always taking new patients. You can also go to their fabulous website. PrairieViewDental.com. Find out all the things that they do there and all the history of, of the people that work there, right, Doc? Because we know it's done by quality people in Prairie View. Nothing but quality. You know, they, uh, <laughs> we have a cookie cutter and uh, they basically mold and shape us into uh, these wonderful professionals that truly do care about oral hygiene and, and, and oral health. And we want to thank Prairie View Dental for helping us out for Prairie for Food, being one of our sponsors. That was wonderful. Dr. Grant came over and and not only did Dr. Gray come and bring some food initially, but then he came back again himself. Of course. Isn't that great? I, I remember being there last year. I broke my buttocks off for you. And uh, <laughs> it, it was frigid. It was probably a negative degree weather. It was hard to do. And you think it was this, even though know, there were the bacteria. Bacteria and bacteria. You know, our mouths are cesspools. You know, we have the proper environment for, you know, bacteria to breathe. And don't get me wrong. For the most part, we have healthy indigenous bacteria that are not harmful. But um, for those individuals who have preyed on the disease, who have a lot of tooth decay, um, you're having more violence, pathologic type bacteria that's breathing in the mouth, and could that potentially move in a horizontal fashion from one individual to another? Really? Okay. Now, I looked at a girl when I was working in Chicago, and she had a beautiful smile, but she told her, her dentist told her that she brushed her teeth too hard, and uh, what would you do? You actually go back to the next you know, the next you know, the next you know, the next Uh, if there's some kind of recurrent decay or some new disease that's propagating the area, 
I would definitely recommend getting it checked, maybe even in an X-ray, just to make sure that there's nothing going on. Yeah, I just had um, an X-ray like two months ago. Right. This type of uh, cavity or this type of recurrent decay may only be detectable by actually clinically uh, probing in the area and uh, testing the integrity of the filling. So that might be something that they want to just follow up on and make sure that they 